Okay, here's a walk around of our new house. Uh, this is from the house is basically facing the uh, south east. Uh, this area now is facing almost um, east. Uh, the house is square. Uh, there's almost no protrusions or anything to make it more expensive to build. Uh, the footprint is quite small. It's a two-story house, but from the front there's no uh, uh, windows in the ceiling, in the roof there. That's again to make it cheaper. Uh, it's a basically a European design, a European building style. There's a little rock garden that I put in late in the summer. Um, the garden has just been put in. Uh, we've, this is our first winter, so next year we'll get it all organised. Most of those are herbs around the air conditioner. Uh, every Japanese house has a, a genkan. You can see a black box there. I'll talk about that later. There's a black box near the air conditioner. Into the entrance. Um, oh, that's an entrance. The shoe, you take off the shoes there. Mm -hmm. These are all shoe cupboards oh, up in there. Yeah, chop uh, them out. Okay, two shoe cupboards up in there. Uh, that's me talking over myself. You hang the, the daily clothes are hung there. Hi. Hi. What's your firm in? You and the house. What for? Just send to people. I had a cup ramen. Uh, from the entrance you go straight into the lounge room and then straight across from the lounge room is a dining room. It's, it's uh, open. There's a bit of an, elk, uh, uh, an arch. This is looking back towards the toilet, the hamster cage and the lounge room. Uh, not much in there. No carpet on the floor. Now you see here the ceiling. We have one, one dark green wall. The ceiling goes all the way up. There's one air conditioner in there, which air conditions the whole house in summertime and the whole ha and cool heats the whole house in wintertime. Uh, the fan up there moves the air around. Now, this house is really, really warm compared to all of our, the, the, our other houses, which are all closed off. Um, they're really, really comfortable. stairs going up to the uh, second floor. The second floor is also uh, open ceiling. Uh, the bedrooms are up there. There's no bedrooms on the first floor. Here we go into the dining kitchen. Um, there's the table that I made. I had to chop 30 centimeters off that to fit in this new house. A little workstation over under the window for Kara's computer work. Here's Kara in her nice, bright, sunny kitchen. Kitchen. Um, our other kitchen used to be on the north side of the house, and it was really, really dark. Uh, she's got white counter uh, countertop um, just to make it all light. Everything's within reach. It's a real, real workable kitchen. Uh, the hood there, the um, kitchen god over the pantry door. Um, all of the um, gear in the kitchen, like the uh, sinks and stoves and all the cupboards, are all top quality um, ordered. Uh, Panasonic, I think, maybe uh, National Panasonic. There's a little computer station for Karu. Uh, 
Uh, there's a pantry off the kitchen. This is uh, closed off in winter time. It's probably, I don't know, 10 degrees cooler than the rest of the house. Um, the, the, the heater doesn't go in there. Uh, just basically everything's there within reach. Um, not out of control yet. We're, we're, we're starting to fill it up quite uh, successfully. And that door goes through, through to the back of the house. Okay, now I'm going to take you around under the stairs. The stairs go up there. And uh, the, uh, under the stairs and behind the stairs is the bathroom and the laundry. This is quite... Um, uh, car is planning has come to site here. after the bathroom. In the laundry there's a slide out cupboard with our laundry basket so after you have a shower or before you have a shower everything just gets thrown straight into the laundry basket. The laundry basket's under there and then directly across the hall under these sliding doors, you'll see these sliding doors, that's where the uh, washing machine is. So you have a bath, the clothes are there, the washing goes straight in across the road to the washing machine and then you'll see hanging up here inside the house, oh, there's the, um, the um, laundry under the stairs. Nice and quiet too, you close the door and you never even know the laundry is going, so really compact. But basically you take your clothes off, they go in the laundry and this is where they hang in winter time. Uh, these um, clothes things wind down so you can hang your washing on there and they wind up. So there's it wound down with that, uh, some of the washing hanging onto it. The far end you can see there, we're going to go to the far end now, is our uh, uh, walk-in closet. The walk-in closet's all on the ground floor. There's uh, no closets for us on the... the um, so all the washing gets hung up here, and then when it gets put away, it gets put away in this room. This room, if one of us becomes invalid later on, this will become a bedroom, but at the moment it's a downstairs walk-in closet. So everything's downstairs. You take your clothes off, you wash them, you hang them, and you put them in this room. That's my clothes. That little corner there is Gary's. The rest is all Kara's. Uh, this is the downstairs toilet next to the bathroom. Uh, the toilet is a super duper job. Okay, toilet, please open. Come on, this is Gary. Open, please. Thank you very much. Sit down, Gary. Enjoy yourself. There's a talking toilet. Okay, we're back out of the, la the lounge room now. We're going to head upstairs. These are night lights on the stairs. Uh, everything's LED. All the lighting's LED. That's the entrance to our always room. That's the upstairs toilet. Uh, this is my work, work area, computer work area. A couple of my chairs there. And just tucked in the back here is a little spare room. This is basically a storeroom. It's got a bed in it. So if anybody comes, yeah, this is where you get tucked away in here. Oh, it's got a sloped attic roof. And then this is our bedroom. You'll notice our bedroom has no wardrobes in it. Uh, all the clothes are downstairs. Uh, behind the beds there is um, a storage place where we've just stored lots of... Um, summer stuff or out, outdoor stuff, the beds um, and the Tansu basically holds sheets and beddings and pyjamas. There's an air conditioner in our room, we've never switched it on yet. And we leave our room and across the hall is Aoi's room. 
and at the end you can see the little storage spaces in her room as well there's everything sort of packed away that we don't need in there those rooms long and thin it's only for one bed and there's a uh, walk-in closet there which you walk into Okay, we're going to um, head down the stairs, out through the kitchen, um, out through the pantry and just do a loop around the house and start up in the front of the house where we, um, or finish up in the front of the house where we started the video. Laundry, uh, lounge room, dining room, kitchen, pantry is open, out through the pantry.